Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, lately I've been doing a lot of dinners, so I thought today I would bake. So let's see what I got going. Okay, starting out with oatmeal raisin. This is a request from my husband. He was in the mood for these. So first I'm going to start getting the dry ingredients together. So I have one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And then it's gonna be one teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, half a teaspoon of salt, um, I'm going to whisk all these together. Oh, and I'm going to add a little bit of chia seeds. Um, yes, it's not in the recipe, but I like to add some, a little extra nutritional um, boost when I can. So they don't have any taste, but you'll get um, some of the benefits along with the sugary um, other goodness in there. <laughs> um, anyway, I'm going to shut up right now and just watch. Okay, setting the dry aside, and now we're going to start creaming the butter and sugars together. So we have one cup of um, unsalted butter, softened slightly. Um, it should be somewhat cold and firm. Uh, so that's what I have here. And then one cup of light brown sugar, packed, and a half a cup of granulated sugar. And putting more brown sugar um, than granulated sugar will make your cookies chewier rather than crispy. Does that make sense? So the more white sugar you have, the crispier the cookie, and the more brown sugar you have in, the chewier it will be. So, um, so yeah, just creaming these together. Look at me working hard. I'm working hard. I'm doing it by hand instead of using a stand mixer, which is um, recommended in the recipe. So now we have the eggs. We have two large eggs. We're going to mix these in one at a time here, um, along with one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. And then I'll be back after I've done with this. Okay, now we are, um, or I am, I keep saying we, it's me, just me. I am mixing in the dry um, ingredients. Um, a little bit at a time, there's the last little bit. Okay, and then after this, oh, I also have the oven preheated oh, after it's chilled. These will bake in a 350 degree oven. So um, after this, the flour and such, I'm going to put in uh, three cups of rolled old-fashioned oats and one cup, you know, more than a cup of raisins. I did a little bit more than the recipe said because we like raisins. Um, so then just mixing this in and I will put it in the fridge to chill for a few hours and this will help the cookies to not spread a lot when they're baked. And then I'll be starting on the next cookie after this.
Okay, next cookie. So usually um, one type of cookie is enough for our family, but um, I was in the mood for chocolate chip. So that's what I'm doing. Um, so I have, um, I had a cup of butter or um, two sticks of butter, I'm sorry. And I was softening it up in the microwave, just using the defrost um, button so it doesn't um, heat them up too much and melt, melt the butter. Um, so, and then I am starting on the dry ingredients, <clears throat> two and a quarter cups flour, one teaspoon baking soda, one teaspoon of salt, and again, more chia seeds, you know, trying to be healthy-ish, uh -huh, ish. That's the key, right? And I'm adding a little bit of cinnamon because I like cinnamon. And it just adds, I put in just enough just to, you know, add a little something in the back there. It's not gonna be, uh, you know, real obvious, which is the point. So here the butter is all melted, or softened, I should say, excuse me, not melted. Um, and then I'm going to add in the sugars again in this recipe I'm going to add more brown sugar than white sugar. So I have one cup of Brown sugar and then I'm going to add in one or a half a cup of white sugar um, The recipe originally calls for three quarters each of each sugar, but you know, I did a little math I did a little calculations and this combo works really well for my taste. And this will help the cookies to come out a little bit chewier than crispier, which is what I like. Um, so yeah, mixing again, getting a real forearm, forearm workout here. <laughs> and I'm trying to switch to, you know, the other arm so that, you know, one's not way stronger than the other. Okay, a little bit of vanilla going in. Very good, and then uh, eggs. Here we go. After the eggs are properly incorporated, I'm going to put in the dry ingredients a little bit at a time and just work that in. And then after this, then I will put in the chocolate chips. I did a whole package, a whole bag. And uh, then this will also go down into the fridge and chill for a few hours. And then later tonight, I'll bake them off 375 and we'll just see how wonderful they came out. So see you in a little bit, or I'll be back in a little bit. Okay, we're back and time to bake the cookies. So. Uh, starting with the oatmeal cookies because they don't bake as hot as the chocolate chip. So 350 is the preset or preheat um, number. Uh, and then just kind of rolling them out to I'd say medium size balls here. Try not to make them too big because then you get more cookies. <laughs> okay, just properly spreading them out, putting them in the oven. I baked them for uh, 13 minutes. It said 12 to 15, but 13 was plenty. And um, yeah, just setting them out to cool and just continuing it on. Okay, moving right along, and this is the um, chocolate chip batch. So these bake at 375 for nine and a half minutes is what I usually do them at four. Um, yeah, so if you like this content today, um, it's been a, a little while since, you know, Christmas time since I've made some cookies, and we were just kind of all jonesing for them. So, 
today was the day. You know, it's Friday. Um, so yeah, if you like my content, give me a thumbs up. Ooh, here I am. I am tasting. Look, they are so good. Yeah, mmm. They ended up really good. Came out really good. So give me a thumbs up. Give me a, su a subscribe. And um, yeah, have a good Super Bowl weekend. And we'll see ya soon. All right, bye guys.